Right then, so here's a little track. Bluebells. Somebody coming there. There's somebody. People all the time. That was lucky. Ponies there. The A thirty eight's down there but near a pub. Very busy A thirty eight's down there. I have been down another track further along that takes you down there. You cross the road and you go into fields over that side. You go up to ship them. So anyway, then I've just got over a stile there. I'm following this lovely little quiet pathway. We've just got all these pretty little white flowers and some bluebells starting to come out as well. There's people playing games up there, some sort of throwing game. Um, but this is a nice little walk, beautiful scenes over that way towards Roborrow and um, of course, I'll be up. I'll be up over that way, over that way eventually. I felt families out because it is a holiday. I think this is the last week of the school holiday. They got this weekend. They, they only went back to school for two weeks. Hardly a back at all since the COVID came in a year ago. Anyway, they went back for two weeks and they're off they were off again for Easter for two weeks. And people are still being encouraged to be careful. You can still do all the usual precautions. But people don't know that some people are very naughty. I was in Tesco's yesterday. I gelled, I put my mask on, just got a bit of shopping. This was Little Tesco Express. And there was a woman there, she looked like a visitor, Grockle. She had like a pink mask on, and when she was <coughs> handling stuff, she suddenly <coughs> took her mask down and started coughing. Like really bad, and she was coughing all the time. And when she got in a queue, another woman gave her this huge glaring stare. And I don't blame her because that's exactly how I felt. She was coughing, and then she decided she forgot something, so she left the queue, and then she ended up behind me. I kept my distance from her, but she wouldn't have. She would have been right on my shoulder. And no Tesco staff did anything. They got to work there. So they should really be making sure that people know the rules. I sometimes walk down through that field there, but there's a lot of people playing these special games. You have to throw a disc and try and get it in a basket. There's a lot of people doing it. I've never seen it so busy. It's like one of those um, wind discs that you... I can't remember what you call them now. Um, Duncan used to have them. And you, like a saucer and you spin it in the air. They got those. And then they've got to try and hit the target. There's a few, quite a few people out. What happens is I think you have to turn up at the Churchill Centre where the ski slope is. They probably give you some discs and you probably have to pay a fee. And there's quite a few people out. Yeah, I would say a good 40 to 50 people spread out of it in their family groups. And their dogs. This little road 
this little back lane is it's a nice little track it'll take me down to not as far I'm not going as far as the pubs but there are two pubs down there I'll be turning off through a little copse and crossing over the A38 and going into the Dolbury Warren and Roborough Warren area where the hill fort is. I'm not, I guess I'm not climbing up the hill fort today. I've lost an hour in time. Um, I never planned to climb it today anyway. It's nippier than we think. It, it, you can tell it's still crispy April when they're having it with frosts in the morning. Like I said, it's Duke of Edinburgh's funeral tomorrow. He's being carried by a self-designed Land Rover turned into a type of hearse. And all the men of the royal family are wearing just suits because two aren't allowed to wear a uniform anymore through various reasons. They've don't haven't got their titles and they've withdrawn from duties. They're not allowed to wear their military uniforms anymore. I don't think Prince Harry realised that would happen. He's now a civilian. Big time. And Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew's under suspicion of being involved in some sort of scandal or other. Um, with a bloke called Epstein who's apparently committed suicide in prison for soliciting young girls. Anyway, we don't go on too much about that. That's just a bit of... I always do a little bit of news. So that when I listen to these tapes in the future, it reminds me of what's going on in the world at the time. America and England, UK I mean, are withdrawing all troops and military personnel from Afghanistan from September. There'll be a massive withdrawal. Oh, just not stopping. Smell the wild garlic. You imagine in May, this is going to be a blanket of white going along here. And smell it. So that's another thing that's happening. Um, apparently Afghanistan has, although it's got problems sort of with the Taliban, there has been a lot of progress apparently. To encourage people that their death of their loved ones out there hasn't been in vain. But they do still kill people. Like two women judges were assassinated at close range by blokes on motorbikes because they're still very against women doing anything, especially being judges. So two high judges were, both women, were massacred. And uh, a lot of, and that's just one example. Um, we're still trying to convince China to cut down on its coal consumption because of global warming. Um, there's a lot going on in that front with David Attenborough still working hard informing us of the creatures that exist that could go in the not too distant future if we don't all start contributing to being more fr climate friendly. Um, so basically That's some of the news. There's lots going on. There's riots in Northern Ireland, for example, which they say it's to do with Brexit, but it's stirring up old rivalries. 
the youth are throwing stones and bombs and fireworks at, and there's a lot of real violence going on over there in Northern Ireland again there's violence and stuff going on everywhere um, Hong Kong there's a lot going on there as China puts a boot down on people that were used to a Western type life and democracy um, they've just not long arrested a huge newspaper man um, because he's been allowing freedom of speech and his papers and you know so we don't know what's going to happen to him these people disappear um, reporters journalists disappear or are murdered um, so there is a lot going on in the world that is not friendly there's also lots of geological stuff going on volcanoes in Iceland erupting after 800 years and and in other parts of the world um, over in the Caribbean areas volcanoes are stirring there's uh, there's something going on the planet has been acting weird this past year actually it's not not just the Covid thing there's been an awful lot of weird weather but of course we've got two vehicles on Mars now that are roaming about a little helicopter and a, another thing on which rolls about up there taking photos, taking samples there is a lot of activity of course So it's important for me to come out and walk and reflect. And I've, like I said, I haven't done this walk for a while. Um, it doesn't feel that long ago, because it's not years. But I have had to hold back from using the bus services. And I, another reason for doing it this week is I thought, no, next week, when the kids go back to school, some children do use the public buses. But most of the kids I've met are really good. Children are. They wear their masks. I must admit, I'm really pleased to have they have cottoned on to this. Lovely views over there. Look, our gorgeous Somerset. Beyond those trees, we've got the hill fort. And over there, right over there, you can't see it, the trees in the way, is Crook's Peak, the Mendip Hills. Over and out, everyone. <laughs>